come to washes and for washes I like to use Citadel's shades um, basically they've given another name for washes basically um, and what I like about the um, Citadel washes is um, they don't have capillary action so where you paint them they stay and they seem to really kind of give off a really nice wash for miniature painting um, unlike some other washes where there's lots of capillary action it flows into nooks and crannies and flows every Everywhere, um, which isn't really good for miniature painting because what we want to do we want to have a different color wash for our green we want a different color wash for our jacket and um, and basically if it had a lot of capillary action they would flow onto the different colors and we want to keep the colors separate so Citadel's good for that to not have such um, that, that amount of capillary action so what I'm going to start with I'm going to start with a nice green here going on with um, Citadel now this green on its own is quite kind of a, a bright green but when you put it on top of um, what green did we use again now our field grey uh, XF65 it comes out quite nice now I'm just using a nice wash brush from Citadel I right, don't want to use my fancy brushes uh, for this because it is just a case of you just literally slap it on Right, and what you want to do is just paint it on as you basically would you know any other sort of paint as I say you haven't got that capillary action so it's not gonna run and flow where you don't want it it's just gonna go where you paint it right and hopefully as you're already seeing it's starting to give off sort of shadows and it's kind of giving us our flat green a little bit more than just being flat it's you know giving us as I say shadows creases bringing them out bringing it out all nicely so I'm just gonna paint the rest of this with our wash Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My So, as you can see, what we've got We've got all those creases nicely sort of coming out All that detail work is coming through uh, Now this is looking quite bright And admittedly on camera it's looking bright And it does in real life But you know, that is going to um, you know come nicer shall we say once it's um, dried now we want to leave it to dry before we go off and say use um, a, a nice sort of brown that we've got here which I wanted to do its jacket um, but if we kind of apply this one now we're going to potentially mix the two different washes and it's all going to get a bit muddled up and not looking nice so we have to leave it to dry in between each wash so hopefully what you're seeing now is all that um, washes have now gone into all the nooks and crannies which you know on the um, the actual jacket you're really kind of seeing how it's sort of bringing out those creases and giving it more life than just plain and simply being flat now the one other thing we could do we could do a bit of dry brushing now and I just want to um, let's start let's, let's do the jacket because the jacket's looking quite cool um, just getting a bit of our steel legion drab again you know so um, you know we're going back to the same color and the reason why we're going back to the same color is is because our wash that we've put on our jacket here has darkened up the jacket right so it's really it's like a darker shade of steel legion drab so if we um, get out a bit of our um, steel legion drab getting a nice uh, dry brush right we get a bit on our paintbrush and what we want to do is on a, a kitchen paper towel we just brush it off work it into the bristles right until we basically got something like this going on it's sort of like we're brushing it and it's um, you know we're just kind of getting a bit of that paint on there it's not much just a bit okay and that's kind of like the key really is just getting your brush nicely prepped and then what we want to do 
is we want to just lightly brush over our jacket here and trying to get it just on the jacket as much as we can and what's going to happen is we're not going to be painting it painting it we're just going to be bringing out the raised areas all right so maybe we could do the gloves as well while we're at it and by just bringing out the raised areas it just gives us another level of detail which hopefully what you're seeing there now is um, you know we've got the dark bits in the recesses the raised areas are becoming lighter giving us more life and we'll just get this back bit here as well while we're at it right and then what we can do is we can go another step further and go you know a little bit really light right now this is the one where you've got to be careful and not overdo it i've got a nice kind of like bone color going on here and what we want to do give our pot a shake again all right open this up and we do the same process all right do the same process get it onto this kitchen paper towel work it into the bristles right and get it so that we're just just getting the paint coming off just nicely right so it's only just a little bit now we want to start off nice and light here because we're doing you know a bit of a you know quite a, a light light sort of bit of highlighting here but with the dry brush and we're just bringing that out so maybe get you in a bit closer and hopefully what you're seeing is it's really this one's really sort of bringing out those raised areas yeah hopefully you're seeing that there we've really sort of brought out our raised areas we've really given it some life now all right but we've got to be careful when employing this one nice light strokes let it just lightly sort of work in there and that's just an easy way of kind of highlighting shall we say um, raised areas rather than painting on it's not the best way of doing it but remember this is just basic miniature painting and then what we can do is do the same with our our green um, clothing by coming back to say field gray right we'll dry brush just the same and bring out the raised areas again um, and then we'll probably come along with some um, Lorraine Forest um, by Citadel which is you know a lot lighter and we can kind of really sort of do that light bit of um, dry brushing there now I know you're probably thinking this green on camera is just looking way way green uh, but I think that's kind of like the, the, the lighting and the camera and stuff trust me it's not as light as it's looking on camera uh, and then what we can also do is basically sort of do the same a bit with our helmet going on here you know we can maybe dry brush a bit of a darker gray or a lighter gray those kind of things same with say our black mask going on here or so we say rubber black mask going on here you know maybe um, we could come along with um, this sort of darker gray and sort of kind of highlight that up using the dry brush technique Thank you.